Hi, welcome to Learning Lab. Today, we're going to be talking about construction. And there's a lot of construction going on around town. Isn't it interesting to see how things are put together? Over time, you don't just see the construction materials anymore. All the parts come together to create a new whole, which we call a house or a building. In terms of reading instruction, we can talk about word construction. This means how a reader blends the sounds and syllables together to create a word. Sometimes we call this phonics or sounding it out, but it's more than that. Beginning or struggling readers must learn to look for parts in a word. There's two parts to this though. Students also need to learn how to deconstruct a word and then blend it back together. Think of it this way. Kids love to build stuff with blocks. You keep clicking blocks together and eventually it becomes a structure. Words can be taught in this way too. For example, if you can read an, you can read pan. If you can read pan, you can read plan. And then plant, and then planting. You see, we're just adding on. Word construction. Here's another example with syllables. Take the simple word and. Now add st to make stand. Add the word under to make understand, then understanding, then misunderstanding. You're just clicking on more parts to create a whole new word. The key is to train the eye to see all those parts. So, sounding it out is nothing more than breaking it up and putting it back together. Breaking it up and putting it back together. Here's something to try at home. Build a block tower with rhyming words. Each tower has words with the same chunk or part. You can also build a short stack of two styrofoam cups. Write letters on the rim of one cup. The top cup should have a rhyming pattern. Rotate the inner cup with the beginning sounds to create new words. Also, check out starfall.com to create more rhyming words. For multi-syllable words, Sign up for free access to the website Poplet. Write each syllable in a separate box. Click them together and break them apart. Remember, make learning fun and add a huge helping of patience, practice and encouragement on the side. This has been Learning Lab with Vicki Denauden. See you next time.